Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. My name is Beth and I have a journal obsession. This is my time and space to journal, whether it's to be with paper, paint, stickers, tape, or some other found object. I like creating worlds in my journaling and it's a form of learning for me also. I love learning by journaling. Currently, I'm creating and learning the world of shells. Let's see where that takes me. Okay, I've been on the phone with my sister, so I started, I couldn't stand my hands not being busy, so I started without you, sorry. I layered a bunch of little snippets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh, seven. Um, it's just junk mail, scrapbook paper, magazine page, same old, same old. This is that calligraphy paper upside down, so it's real muted. Uh, I stamped it with some of these shell stamps that I just got and this is printed on my little printer and then this page this little bit was um, laying here and it said excellent object so I just did that I painted this white you saw and you saw me with the orange then I stamped just partial bits of the shells on here and I'm gonna put this right here I filmed the haul from the scrapbook store that I found here, but I accidentally deleted it, so I gotta redo it. So look for that tomorrow, but that's where these shells stamps came from. If you hear banging, I think it's the toddler across the way with a toy. Our uh, weather has taken a drastic turn to the cooler side and overcast. No wind today, but it is overcast and cool. Everybody's bummed because we were like, the weather over the weekend we were spoiled so there is a picture of shells muted colors of orange and pink i'm going to try one of these distress crayons now they're i think waterproof i think you mix these with not waterproof but you mix them with water see what happens here oh yeah kind of like a stabilo I'm sure the trade would say no 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 I'm sure Dina Wakely would say no 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 these are Tim Holtz but um well, they do give you a lot of color they're pretty let's try this one this is abandoned coral I mean they're very pigmented that's for sure Oh, I like them. I do like these. They're a little bit um, more fluid than a Stabilo. Okay, now I am going to write out, which I have to have it next to me because I can't spell it. 
Um, oh, this stupid thing. I cannot spell. There are two kinds of shells. Bivalves, which are like a scallop where it has two sides and opens up. Or a gastropoda. I think these are their, I don't know, scientific names. I don't know. But that's these kind that don't open up. Like I call them little footballs or pointy footballs. The ones that I get here. But I kind of wanted to write very sloppily and big. those names. Now, how many species of shells are there? All right, I'm going to put Gastropoda specimen one. How many species of shells are there? Between 70,000 and 120,000, according to Wikipedia, which Wikipedia does not lie. Okay, I think that's going to be it today. I don't have anything over here, but I only wanted to... differentiate between gastropod bivalves and how many species oh I need to write that down okay let's try orange um that's not orange yeah it is yeah it is okay I haven't done anything over here. I don't know if I will. I might just add more of this paper, which like that. It's probably what I'll do. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know what that child is doing. Just over there pounding on something. My sister had her first shot. Hello, sister. They both now have said that they watch me, and that's making me a little nervous as to what I say. Because I don't want them to think I'm nuts, even though they probably already do. Um, but she had her first vaccine last night because her job was able to get them for their employees. That's a lot of political clout in California, let me just tell you. Anyhow... I love this. You saw me draw my shell. This one's pretty. Anyhow, okay. Looking good. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.